so that you stand in the middle of your mat facing this way because a lot of the stuff will be this way today and then maybe separate your feet a, t a tiny bit let your arms drop down by your side and close down your eyes and as you take that first inhale just feel that breath entering your body like it's touching into all the spaces in your body like you, it's like a big hello and as you exhale you feel the inner body just growing brighter as the outer body starts to soften so take a few moments here with your breath just following the breath in and out of your body greeting each breath with I don't know with excitement, with anticipation, with, uh, with joy, just starting to let go of what's happening outside and arrive inside. Remember today's class is an hour, just in case you've forgotten like I did. Start to feel the ground beneath you and notice how you're standing. Notice if you're standing heavier on one foot and maybe start to adjust. Notice also if you're swaying from side to side, we all do this naturally. And maybe come to some stillness, you will start to sway again, but just like notice that and maybe just soften, soften that movement. And then start to very deliberately press your feet into the earth and lift the crown of your head up towards the sky and feel how you're stacking your bones between the earth and the sky. And then with that attention, start to breathe into that space. And now you feel the breath growing outwards, upwards, downwards, in all directions. The breath is becoming fuller and steadier. And then once you feel you have that, can join your hands in front of your heart center for a moment. Maybe it's in your practice to create an intention for your efforts this morning. What or who or why you've turned up on your mat today. Feel the internal bow to your heart space as you blink your eyes open. Inhale, circle the arms overhead, stretch up and look up. Exhale, pull the hands down through the center line of your body. And again, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, pull it down. One more. Inhale, stretch up, look up. And exhale, pull it down through the center line of your body. Lovely. Let your arms go and step out wide. I would say, if you have one of these, like, Mats step out as wide as, I don't know, as wide as it feels comfortable. And then turn your toes out to the side. And you don't want to turn them completely out so they're like, I don't know, 45 degree angle maybe. You can test this, bend your knees and make sure your knees are tracking over your second toes so they're going the same direction. Otherwise, adjust your feet. And then once you're ready, inhale, reach up. Turn your palms down and bend your knees. Bring it down to the earth. Inhale, pull up, pull everything up. And exhale, ground down. One more like this. Inhale, pull it up. And exhale, ground down. Hold here in goddess squat. Bring your hands onto your thighs and turn your fingers back. Lean forwards and then twist to the left. You're pushing your thighs open evenly and lengthening your spine forwards. Inhale, center, and exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center, exhale, twist to the right, to the left, sorry. Inhale, center, and exhale, twist the other way. Inhale, center. Now drop your hands down and turn your toes forwards once again. And then keep your hips stacked over your ankles and walk your hands forward. And then shift your weight right back and let your head go. 
Inhale, come back up through the center. Lengthen the spine. Keep the spine nice and long. And then exhale, shift your hips back again. One more like this. Inhale, bring your hips back. Stack it with your ankles. And exhale, take it way back. And then walk your hands way forwards and let your head go. Wrap your shoulders around your back. And lengthen the sides of your body forwards. And then root down the outside edges of your feet. Breathe in. And down. Good. Stack the hips back in line with your ankles and then spin your right toes forwards and walk towards the right. Come onto your left toes and look ahead. Sink your hips down but keep the back leg strong and reach the chest forwards. Breathe in and down. Another breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Drop your left knee down. Place your hands flat and take your right knee back. Inhale. Lift your chest. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, round your cat pose. One more, dog tail, inhale. Exhale, cat pose. Inhale, lift your chest. Walk your hands forwards. Shift your weight forwards and come all the way down onto your belly. Untuck your toes. Come onto your forearms, lift your chest and drag your arms back and twist over to the right. Inhale, come through the center and exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center, pull up and exhale, let go. Drag your hands back by your chest, come up onto all fours and take child's pose but curl your toes under and walk your hands forwards, come onto your fingertips Keep reaching the sides of your body forwards and your hips back. Let your head go. Breathe in. And down. Slowly rise up to sit on your heels. Reach your arms up. Link your fingers and stretch your palms to the sky. Make sure all fingers are involved. <laughs> Breathe in. Draw the lower ribs down. Exhale. Bring your hands behind your back. Link your fingers and stretch your arms away. Yeah. And then release. Some of you can pop the knees up like this and come all the way up to stand or bring your hands down on the floor and inhale, stretch up. Exhale, hands to heart. Come back to the center. Widen your legs and turn your toes out. Inhale, reach up. Pull it down, exhale. And again, inhale. Exhale, maybe go a little deeper. One more, inhale. And exhale, stay down. Your hands can rest on your thighs again or go a little deeper towards your ankle. You want to extend your chest forwards and just press open, lengthen the spine. Breathe in or you're here. And out, you can shift from side to side. Inhale. Exhale, place the hands down, turn your toes forwards again, reach your hands forwards again and stretch your hips back, let your head go. Breathe in. And out. Inhale. And exhale. Lift your head halfway, spin towards the left, turn your left toes forwards, reach your chest forwards, stretch your heel back, Lengthen the spine as much as you can. Breathe in. Exhale, place your left knee down. Hands down. All fours. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, pull the heart through. And exhale, round. One more. Breathe in. And up. Heart reaches forwards as you inhale. You can walk your hands more forwards of your shoulders. Tip your weight forwards and come down. Send your legs back. Keep your hands down. Inhale, roll up, cobra. Stretch your toes back. Exhale, let it go. Again, inhale. You can come up from the right side. Come through the center. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, come up through the left side. Center. And exhale, let it go. 
Come up through the center. Come onto your knees, pull the roots back, curl your toes under. Extended child, walk your hands forward. Lengthen the roots back, breathe in. And down. Inhale, come up to sit on your heels. Reach your arms up. Link your fingers, stretch your palms to the sky. Draw the lower ribs down, lengthen the tailbone and stretch the sides of your body up. Exhale, bring the hands back. Link your fingers and extend your arms back. Let go. Then you can pop your knees up and slowly rise. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart. Step out wide. Turn your toes out and inhale, reach up. Exhale, pull it down, and this time you hold here. Inhale, pull up, and exhale. Again, inhale, pull up, and exhale down. One more, breathe in, and up. Lovely. Inhale, pull up, extend your arms out to the side, turn your palms open, reach up, link your fingers and cross your thumbs, and stretch, extend your arms overhead and maybe sink down a teeny bit more. And just watch, pull the lower ribs down as you reach your arms up, reach the whole side of the side body up, turn your toes forwards, go wide, and bring your hands down under your shoulders. Bring your hands side by side, like this. Keep your right hand down and inhale, lift your left arm up. Lengthen the spine towards the crown of your head as you reach your left arm up. Breathe in. Exhale, bring the left hand down. Inhale, lift the right arm up. Stretch. Again, pull your tailbone back and extend your spine forwards. Exhale, bring the right hand down. Swivel to the right. Bring your hands down and drop your left knee down. Walk your hands back and inhale, lift the right knee up. Exhale, knee to navel. Coil, push away. Inhale, knee goes high. Exhale, put it in. One more. Inhale. And exhale. You have a choice here. Take the knee up and you can step back this way into plank or step back into all, onto all fours and lower down onto your belly. Come into your fingertips. And inhale, rise, cobra pose. Exhale, let it go. Inhale. So today is more about movement, rinsing with your breath. Exhale. So really connect to how the breath brings more space into your body. Let it go. Place your hands down. Come up and take it into child's pose again. This time, untuck your toes. Bring your palms together and bring your hands onto your shoulder blades. And you can continue to walk the elbows forwards, but sink your hips more back. So if your hands don't come to your shoulders, keep it this way and feel like you're still bringing a lot of length into the side gills. Breathe in. Exhale, let it go. Roll up to sit on your heels and inhale, bring the arms up. Grab hold of your right wrist, extend up and side stretch to the left. Inhale, center, grab your left wrist, reach up, and side stretch to the right. Inhale, center, release, roll the shoulders back, reach forward. Remember, you can use your hands and come up this way, or come up in that way I just showed you earlier. Inhale, stretch up, palms touch, hands to heart as you exhale. Let's step out wide. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, root down. Stay down, inhale, pull up. And exhale down. Inhale, you can go deep or you can stay high. Exhale, depending on how your thighs are feeling. Now extend your arms out to the side. Turn your palms open and reach up. And this time, link your fingers and stretch your palms up to the sky. And then as you reach up, sink your hips down. You can lift your toes if you like. Breathe in. 
and uh, one more breath. Inhale. Exhale, reach up. Super. If you still start to feel the burn, turn your toes forwards and bring your hands right under you to begin with. So you can shake out if you start to feel whoo, like it's burning a little bit. So bring your right hand towards your right foot. If you can, bring it all the way into your right foot and inhale, lift the left arm up. Now as you twist open, send the left arm more back and your spine more forward. Breathe in. And out. One more breath here. Inhale, more length in the spine. Exhale, bring the left hand down. Walk over to the right and bring your left hand towards your right foot and inhale, lift the right arm up. And again, extension through the spine. If you can, keep the hips square. This is harder. Breathe in, hold. So don't strain the shoulders. It's okay if your hands are here, your arms, right? But if you can, stack the shoulders. Exhale, drop your hands down and swivel all the way to the left. Drop your left knee down. Walk your hands back. And inhale, take the left knee up. Lift your chest. Exhale, knee to navel. Inhale, knee goes high. Exhale, put it in. One more. Good. Here, again, you can come onto all fours or take it back into plank, depending on how chill you want this to be. Exhale, lower down. Untuck your toes and come onto your fingertips. Inhale. You can come up from the right and go through the center. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, come up through the left. Swivel to the center. And exhale, let it go. Inhale, come up through the center. Pull your ribs back. And come into child's pose again. Keep your toes untucked this time. Bring your palms together. Hands come onto your shoulders. Walk your elbows forwards. Breathe in. And again, your hands can be here. If they're not comfortable, keep them forward. Inhale. And exhale. Roll up to sit on your heels. You can curl your toes under. Inhale, reach your arms up. Catch the right wrist and side stretch to the left. Inhale, center. Catch your left wrist and side stretch to the right. Inhale, center. Release your arms. Take a shoulder roll. You come up your way. Then pop your knees forward. Root your heels down and inhale, climb up. And exhale, hands to heart. Yeah. Come to center. I promise, this is the last goddess squat you have to do <laughs> for the day. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, sink down. <laughs> so it looks like this. You can bring left hand onto your belly. Take your right arm up. And as you side stretch to the left, reach your left hand over. And there's a tendency to move this way, so go to the center. And reach out long, breathe in, and sink down. And uh, inhale, come up, and exhale, take it. So left arm up, reach over to the right, and the right hand can reach over to the left, and just watch that you're not moving to one side. Breathe in, and uh, good. Inhale, climb up, and exhale. Bring your hands down towards the floor. So I'm gonna take both legs towards straight first, and keep my toes turned out slightly. So, bend your left knee and turn your left toes out. So this is the foot pattern. You can keep your hands on the floor or cross your, cross your chest like so. And try to keep the movement low. So move through the center, turn your left toes in and your right toes out and bend. You can look over to the left to start it. <laughs> Take it in, right foot in, left toes out, bend. One more, bring it in, left toes in, right toes out, and bend. Good. Shift over the right foot, come into the lunge, breathe in, and exhale, place your left knee down. Straighten the right leg any amount, can be bent. Inhale, lift up, 
and exhale fold. You can stay high or come into the forward fold and hold here. Maintain length and you don't want to kind of feel like you're pushing it really hard. Well, you can if you, if you want like a less chilled um, practice. But if you want to keep it chilled, keep it soft. So don't go to like that maximum sensation. Lift your chest, crawl your hands back and crawl back into the lunge. Place your hands down, take your right knee back. So it goes like this, pull into your navel, round your spine, make a circle, take your knee out to the side, lift your chest and then pull it in again, round. Take it out to the side, pull it in and this time take it out to the side and reach it up. You can stay here or reach your left hand forward, reach it back, catch your ankle and push that foot away from you. Try to keep your knee high and your chest reaching forwards. Let go. Place your left hand down. You can be on all fours or plank as you wish. Lower down as you exhale. Yeah. Bring your hand, arms alongside your body and start to circle your wrists. Bring your forehead down onto the floor and inhale, start to climb up. So don't jerk up, slowly start to climb and then reach your arms back and squeeze your hands towards the midline. Breathe in. Exhale, sweep your hands forward. Bring it by your chest, bring your feet down and climb up Cobra Pose. Come onto your knees. You have a choice here now, Charles Pose or Downward Facing Dog. Breathe in, and out, inhale, exhale. So I have the feeling that most of you will be here in downward dog. <laughs> so wherever you are, in down dog you're going to walk your hands back towards your feet. If you're in child's pose, come onto your heels and make your way up into a forward fold. Grab your elbows and pull your elbows down towards the floor. Again, you can soften your knees generously and think like aim the crown of your head towards your toes. So you're pulling your spine long down towards the floor. Breathe in. Next, so let your arms hang and slowly roll up. So bend your knees again and start to roll up vertebrae. Let your head be the last thing to lift. Super slow. When you feel the shoulders lift, roll the shoulders back and bring your head up. Step out wide. Inhale, reach up. And exhale. Here we go again. So, bring the right arm up as you inhale. Side stretch to the left. I won't hold you here too long. Inhale, come up. And exhale, take the other way. Inhale, come up and stretch over. Again, inhale and exhale. Good. Inhale, come up. Bring your hands down to the floor. Let's check out this foot pattern again. So turn the right toes out and your left toes in, bend. So your spine is still forwards and not going to the side. You can cross or keep your hands down on the floor. Turn the right foot in and the left toes out and bend. Inhale, center. Exhale. And now you can extend your arms if you like. Inhale, pull in. And exhale as you bend your left knee, extend. Swivel over to the left. Drop your right knee down and straighten your left leg and your mouth. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold as you wish. Again, staying high or coming down low. Look at your hands and make sure your hands are evenly extending forwards. Breathe in. And out. Big breath in. And out. Come up halfway. Crawl your hands forwards, place them flat and inhale, take the left knee up. 
Exhale, knee to navel. Make a circle as you inhale, chest goes forward. Exhale, pull the knee in, round your spine. Again, inhale, chest goes forward. And exhale. This one to hold. Take the knee up. Stay here or reach your right arm forward. If you have the balance here, reach back. Catch your ankle or your foot. Push away. And see if you can extend your chest evenly forward. And try not to be here. Try to be here. So if it's causing you to drop your thighs, just reach without catching your foot. Release. Place your hands down. You can step back plank or onto all fours. Lower down onto your belly. Release your head down. Bring your arms by your side and circle your wrist. Inhale, start to climb up. Climb up a teeny bit more. Reach your arm bones back and your toes back. Breathe in. Swim your hands forward. Place them by your chest and climb up in cobra pose. Child's pose or downward facing dog. Breathe in. And down. Nice extension through your spine. Inhale. Exhale. Another breath. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Hang in forward bend again. This time grab your elbows the other way. If you're not sure, go to your like comfortable way and then switch it around to the weird way. <laughs> Then dangle and pull your elbows down towards the floor. You feel the side bodies reaching down low. And then let your arms go and hang out just a teeny bit more. And then press into your feet. And inhale, start to roll up. Roll the shoulders back. Ah, roll the shoulders forwards. Lovely. And here we go again. Step up wide. No more goodness, I promise you. So now that the legs are a little warmer, maybe you want to swivel them just a little bit wider. And we come into that side to side skandasana again. So you can, can stay high or come like low into the squat. Super. So inhale, stretch up. And exhale. Hands come to heart. Super. Inhale the breath. So let's start left side. Turn your left toes out. Bend your left knee and you can extend your arms if you like or stay here or keep your hands on the floor. Look over to the right. Stay low, as low as you can. Inhale and exhale. Bend your right knee, extend your left leg and reach out. Again, inhale, pull in and exhale, reach out. One more. Inhale and exhale, reach out. Hold here. Bring your hands behind your back. Catch your right wrist and extend your arms back. Good. Bring your hands down onto the floor. Walk your left foot in a teeny bit. Turn the left toes up and come down to sit. And if this is not working for you, sit in any way that is good for you. So the nice thing about being at home is, oh yes, fall over, give it a try. So drop your left, right, sorry, right knee down. And just readjust until you feel like, okay, I'm comfortable, I'm happy here. Bring your left arm, either your forearm can be onto your, on your thigh, so you use the kind of top bit of your forearm against the inside of your thigh, or bring your elbow in. Sweep the right arm towards your ears. Exhale, sweep it back down by your side and away from you. Then again, inhale, sweep it up. And exhale, bring it back by your side. Next one, we're going to hold. Inhale, sweep, and hold here. So if you're very open, the left hand can reach towards the outside of your right thigh, and some of you can even catch your foot. Go ahead, if that is you, I'm gonna stay up here. If you're still here, use this arm as a lever against your thigh to help you open a little bit more, and then, once you feel that rotation, extend your spine more towards the crown of your head and you will feel all the yellowness like squeezing out the coconut. 
<laughs> and you get the juice. Like, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Breathe in. You want to feel like you're getting something yummy out of it. Make sure you're not getting something bitter out of it. <laughs> Breathe in. You're going to drop this right hand down and send your left hand out to the left. And now twist towards your left foot and lift the left side waist. Keep this leg wide. Inhale. If it feels good for you, you can start to forward fold. If you want a little bit more, the right hand can come to the outside, the little toe side of your foot. Pull your right elbow out to the side and then reach your chest evenly forwards. Breathe in. And you'll find like a huge twist and forward bend going on at the same time. I'm just gonna stay up here because my scar is hurting. So you go. Breathe in. And out. Lovely. And then from here, come back up. We're gonna swivel all the way to the right. So take your hands over to the right and move your right knee out to the right and come into pigeon pose. <laughs> so adjust. Make sure your right knee is sitting outside of your right thigh and look back and align your left leg with the edge of your mat. You can have your toes like this or untucked, so this is more passive if you want to be more relaxed. And then take a moment here, bring your hands down and pull your hands back as you lift your chest. Breathe in. And then exhale, come down. You can come onto your forearms or you can stay high on your hands or if you like, come all the way down. If you're coming down onto your forehead, make sure you're not sinking and dumping into the right side. So keep your hips somewhat even. So there needs to be some effort. You're not just, um, it's not like in yin way you let go. So a little bit of muscular um, engagement. Notice where you feel the work here. That is where you feel uh, the contraction, the, where you're holding back, where you're gripping on. So you can send your breath there and soften that sensation and soften that stretch. And then from here, climb up, roll onto the right hip and send your left leg forwards. So you can bring your left foot in front of your knee like that, or cross it all the way around. Yeah. Hug your knee with your right arm, or your right arm comes outside of your knee. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, twist. Keep this right foot flat on the floor, whether you're here or here. Be here if it allows you to root both sit bones down. Breathe in. And down. Big breath in. And down. Lovely. Inhale, come through the center. Open twist. And inhale, center. So now you're going to stack your knees on top of each other like this. So if I come back this way. And then lift up and bring your feet side by side behind you. So it looks like this. And root your hips down towards your hips, towards your feet, sorry. And if you have the balance, bring the hands up. Link your hands, link your hands, and stretch up. Pull up, and as you pull up, you sink your hips down. And release. It feels like your calves are about to explode. That's about the right sensation. So, unravel, walk your hands back and send this into down facing dog or child's pose if you like. Down dog feels quite nice here. And if you feel like you need to release your hip flexors, you can take that left leg up and circle your ankle. That feels quite good. And bring that left foot down, stretch back. If you feel like you need a flow here, please go ahead and take it. Plank, chaturanga, cobra upward dog as you inhale. Back into downward dog as you exhale. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Bring the back of your hands on the floor and again you can bend your knees generously to do this. Let your head go. Or you can bring your hands under your feet. 
stand on your feet and let it go. Stand on your hands, obviously, not your feet. So wherever you are, inhale, halfway lift. Hands come onto your hips. Roll up, inhale, come all the way up. And exhale. Okay. Widen your feet again, as wide as you did on the other side. Inhale, reach up, and exhale, hands to heart. Good. So now we're going to start on the right side. So turn your right toes out, bend your knee, hands down or crossing, or extend your arms, look to the left. Stay low, inhale, exhale, take it to the left, extend your right. Again, inhale, pull in, and exhale. One more, breathe in, super duper, exhale, open. Sweep your hands behind you, Good. catch your left wrist and extend your arms away. Reach the chest and the spine forwards, reach forwards and bring the hands down. So toe heel, your right foot a little closer, stand on the heel and come down and make your way down to sit. Now once you're down here, pull the left foot in and drop your left knee to the side. Take your sit bones back. Right forearm comes onto your thigh or inside of your thigh. If you're coming here and you're kind of forward folding, come up a little. So again, make the priority your spine. Sweep your left arm alongside your ears. Lengthen your spine. Exhale, bring it back along your side and lengthen the right side of your body, left side. Inhale, reach. And exhale. Good. This one to hold. Inhale, reach. And hold here. And again, you can bring the right hand to the outside of your thigh to go a little deeper. Or the shoulder even is coming in. And if you're reaching for your foot, again, don't sacrifice the space. You want to be able to spin open towards the sky. And again, keep lengthening the spine towards the crown of your head. And feel again like, I don't know if you've ever squeezed coconut. You just want to like, it doesn't take a lot of effort. You just like, well, maybe a little bit of effort, but <laughs> squeeze it gently. Breathe in. Sometimes extension feels nicer than grabbing. So see what serves you best. Breathe in. Exhale, place your left hand down and reach the right hand over to the right. Lift the right side and lengthen your chest forwards. If you feel like you have scope to go deeper, left hand comes to the outside of your right foot. So it's a little toe side. Pull the elbow to the side and lift the right side even more and extend the chest forwards. Feeling the sensation of twisting and extending. Yeah, shouldn't take your breath away. Breathe in. And out. One more breath here. Let it go. Climb up. I'm gonna swivel all the way to the left. So bring your hands down and take the left knee out to the left. And then look back. And I'm trying to bring the top or the center of my right thigh is descending down towards the floor. You can untuck your toes as long as it doesn't cause you to sink the right hip down. Come onto your hands first and pull the ground back like you're doing a big cobra pose as you roll the shoulders back and feel the back end in the pose to begin with. And then slowly come down into the forward bend or stay high like so. So if you're here, again, just watch that you're not dumping onto the right side. Try to keep your hips even. You want to have quite little effort, but not zero effort. Notice again where the gripping sensation is. Like for me, it's in my groin, in my hip a little. And just focus your attention there. And 
let go. Like the yogis say, where your mind goes, energy goes. So take it there. And the same way the breath goes, energy goes. Climb up, roll onto the left side and sweep the right foot forward. Again, you can bring it in front of your shin or take it outside of your knee, but keep the right foot flat. Now this hip wants to roll up. See if you can root that sit bone down and then from there lift, hug or arm comes outside. This right hand is not passive, it's pushing down. This is super important. Push down, lift the spine and broaden your collarbones. And again, you're not forcefully twisting. You want to feel like it's just almost like I would say 50, I think 50, 60% effort if you want to be technical. <laughs> Breathe in. Some people say 40, yeah, depends on how you you know, gauge your effort level. Inhale and exhale. So come through the center, twist open to the left and back to center. Now stack your knees on top of each other and roll onto your hands and then bring your feet side by side behind you. And for some of you, maybe you have to stay here today, that's fine. But if you're able to feel like you can come all the way back towards your heels, go ahead. And then if you have the balance, hands come onto your sides. And if you still good, link your fingers and stretch up. And as you stretch down, sink your hips down and pull yourselves upright. So feel like you're rooting through the center. Release, bring your hands down, unravel your legs, and send us into downward facing dog. And again, if you feel like that right groin needs some attention, you can take that right leg up and just kick it out, circle your ankle. You can even stretch back, whatever feels nice for you as a cow pose. And then bring your feet back down, if you like. You can take a flow, you can stay here, you can be in child's pose. If you're in the flow, plank, chaturanga, cobra, upward dog, and down with facing dog. Exhale, breathe in, and out. One more breath. Come back down onto your knees. Cross your ankles behind you. So this is how you do it. Curl your toes under. Walk back. Push against your toes to create the space. And come down to sit. So I'm going to come back to the middle of my mat. Bring your hands behind you. And bend your knees so your ankles are just sitting in front of your knees. We're going to start. Right ankle crosses onto your left thigh. As you push into the floor, lift your spine, draw the lower back in, and then tip your pelvis forwards. And then we're going to continue this on the floor. So walk your hands a little forwards and your hips forwards, and roll down onto your back. And then pull the knees in towards you and grab hold of the back of your left thigh. And have the same sensation, so you're tilting the pelvis forwards, pressing your right thigh away from you. And as you pull the left thigh in, you're resisting, so you're pushing your left thigh into your hand and pulling at the same time. So from here, release your left thigh, keep your left knee bent, and place your left foot on the floor, lift the right leg up and grab hold of the back of your right thigh. You can bring your hands high towards your car or towards your foot, if that feels nicer for you. And if you're still able to keep your back nice and um, rooted down on the floor, you can extend the left leg forwards. Or keep the left knee bent if you want to feel more comfortable. As you wish for a cutter or 
feel more comfortable. Again, you're feeling for the parts of your leg that feel the stretch and just send your attention there and see if you can soften that sensation with your breath and your attention. And then from here, bend your right knee and pull it to your chest and everyone now extend the left leg forward. You're going to shift your hips slightly to the right and pull the right knee down to the left. Extend your right arm out. Either look over to the right or keep your head neutral. And now as you exhale, instead of finding more twists, squeeze your lower belly in and you'll feel the twist happening. Good. And then inhale back up to the center. Recenter your hips, pull both knees into your chest and bring your head to your knees. your head and your shoulders go. I'm going to rock up to sit. Bring your hands back behind you and place your feet on the floor. Now left ankle comes onto your right thigh and again feel it here first. Root, root your tailbone down so tip your pelvis forwards, lift your spine and you're pushing the left ankle into the leg and at the same time pressing your left thigh away but resisting. You're not really pushing away that way. You actually don't move at all. So use resistance. And then from here, slowly make your way onto your back. And as you come onto your back, pull the right knee in and bring your hands to the back of your right thigh. You're resisting. You almost, almost have to, there's no movement. So I'm not really pulling it in. I want to pull it in, but at the same time, once I hit that resistance, I start, I stay there and I push away. And you feel for all these little muscles that are just receiving your attention. And then release that right thigh, place your right foot down and extend your left leg up. And again, your choice. You can grab all the way up and extend the right leg straight. And then also you're noticing the difference between your left and your right. I'm always symmetric being, so that's just um, something that's normal. Doesn't mean you have to work it harder, just pay attention to it, so maybe work the other side less for now. And then bend your left knee, bring your knee towards your chest, you can bring your head to your knee. Let go, you're going to shift your hips this time to the left, and pull the left knee down to the right, and extend your left arm out to the left. And again, head can be neutral, or you can turn your head over to the left. And you can use your belly again as you root your thighs down, inhale, expansion, and then as you exhale, if you draw in and up, you feel the twist naturally happen. into happy baby. If happy baby doesn't feel very happy for you, you can also bring the soles of your feet together and your knees wide like so. Release your feet and place them down. So reach them forward for now and give them a little shake your arms overhead and stretch. Keep your arms overhead, bend your knees 
and inhale, take your hips up. Without going into the back bend, lengthen your tailbone towards your knees and draw the lower ribs down and just feel that side shape. And exhale slowly, lower all the way down. And then reach your work with your knees side to side. And if you follow, um, if you're following the class yesterday, I'll show, I'll show you the ways to get into shoulder stand from the wall. Those of you who have a shoulder stand practice now, if you feel like you would like to do that, go ahead, you can pop up. You can also come up against the wall. So I'm gonna attempt to show it against this wall today. So you need to kind of shuffle as close as you can so it's kind of not so possible for me because I've got this little piece of wood here but almost like stick your hips on the wall and then roll back and what happens when you roll back is you start to move away from the wall a bit and you have to do the shuffle 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 like this and then place your feet onto the wall and press to lift your hips up so I'm moving because I'm on the floor and then link your fingers under and roll your shoulders right under place your hands onto your back like so and you can take one leg up and see how that feels and when you take this leg up Push your hips higher and drive your hips up and feel the shape of shoulder step. You don't have to come up until you feel comfortable to take the other leg up. I'm going to come back onto my mat and I'll roll around. Now once you feel, once you feel like your hips are stacked over your shoulders, place your hands flat on your back and start to float the other leg up. And again, you need to always be mindful that you are on your shoulders and you've not popped up onto your neck. And sometimes the legs tend to be here, or for some of us, this is scary. So keep your feet on the wall and get this alignment until you feel comfortable. You can alternate between your legs. And again, use the foot on the wall to drive your hips up and to kind of get the muscle memory of how to drive your hips up towards the sky. You can also keep both feet on the wall and if linking your fingers is hard, keep your hands down, root your hands down and keep pushing against your feet to bring the hips, to drive the hips more towards your face. And this gives a nice stretch in the upper back as well. Again, you want to be mindful that there's no squishing of your neck, everything feels comfortable, otherwise ease off, you don't have to be stacked right away. So if you're up here, you're coming down and back onto the wall, drop one foot back, I know it feels scary sometimes, like the wall disappeared, but just trust that it's there, and then place the other foot back, and slowly roll down. If you're still in shoulder stand, make your way to plow pose. If you're in plow pose, you can make your way down. If you're still by the wall, take a moment here with your legs up the wall and relax. Five breaths. So, if you're holding plow pose, you can try to bend your knees and drop your knees down by your ears. And for some of you, maybe you want to wrap your arms around your thighs. So for those of you on the wall with the legs up against the wall, bend your knees and roll over onto your side, any side you like. If you're still in plow pose, drop your hands down behind you and start to roll all the way down and we meet on our back here, everyone. Keep your feet together, walk your arms under your back. Bring your hands side by side with your palms flat on the floor and squeeze your elbows under you. Roll up so you're on your elbows, drop your head back and then lift your chest around your spine. And you're supporting your head so you're not actually balancing on your head, you're balancing on your arms, your head is just touching the floor. And then slowly breathing. 
Take your arms up from under you. You don't need anything more. Separate your feet as wide as your mat. If you need something else, bring your knees into your chest and make circles. <laughs> you can make circles away from each other or knees together. End by pulling your knees into your chest and bring your head to you. Bring your feet down and extend your legs forward and come into Shavasana if you're not there already. If you need something warm, go ahead, grab something warm. So as you come down onto your back, start to come into some stillness. Hands can be on your body or out to the side, palms can open, close down your eyes. Take a moment to, again, just notice how you feel after your movement meditation, breath meditation. Again, not feeling like you have to judge whether the practice felt good or bad. Sometimes we naturally do this. Just watch, watch these thoughts and just let them pass as a wave. And as you start to let go of these thoughts, feel your body softening as you return to your center, as you return to yourself. Focus your attention on the physical sensation of your body. And start to very deliberately release and relax everything. Like the whole back body is sinking and melting towards the floor. And as this happens, um, notice how you naturally shift from the physical sensation to feeling like you've arrived into a deep, quiet place inside. Feel like you've arrived there. Let everything go. Let the mind rest. And just stay here for a moment. Enjoy the quiet. And allow yourself to sink deeply and completely into your experience. in the quiet of your home or the busyness of your home you're welcome to stay here as long as you need to and if you're coming up take your time don't rush there's no rush to move to breathe just take a moment to return to breath to body i'm gonna end the practice here you stay as you need to thank you so much for joining me this morning for joining us. The team is always watching. There's always someone watching in the background. <laughs> Just know that we are here. We're here every morning, all of us, most of us, most of the time. <laughs> Namaste. And we really appreciate you being here with us too. Like I said, people energy in my home. Thank you so much. So I'm going to stay on for a while. Please feel free to hang out with me if you like. I'm just going to crawl and switch off.